Well, the Yankees missed the extra point, but they lead 6 nothing as we go to the top of the third inning over the Blue Jays. And I told you, I promised you an MVP, Paul, a two-time Super Bowl MVP. That man is Eli Manning. He joins us in the booth. Eli, how you doing? I'm doing great, guys. Thanks for having me in. Well, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Pretty impressive beginning for the Yankees, right? Hey, unbelievable. This is uh, this has been fun. I brought uh, got two of my daughters with me, so their first time here for for a baseball game. It did not disappoint. Getting two home runs in the first inning, they are they're fired up and uh, a big second inning. So this has been great. Got a little football weather today, right? It is a little chilly. It's a little chilly. I'm not doing <laughs> a lot. Time to put the pads. Michael, you ever put the pads on in your life? <laughs> I couldn't get them over my head. Paul. <laughs> Set you up for that. That's good. They got the wraparounds now. You don't have to take over the side. You know, thank you. Maybe I'll, I'll revisit. <laughs> One and no count on Kiermaier. Now, Eli, obviously, you've been a longtime spokesman for the Great New York Toyota Dealers Association. They are a big sponsor of Yankee baseball on Yes, so thank you for coming by, man. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's great to be here on behalf of uh, your local and Greater New York Toyota Dealers. Uh, they're doing a great thing tonight. They invited. Uh, Four families, so 19 total people from uh, WEDCO, which is Women Housing and Economic Development uh, Corporation, which uh, built a lot of houses in the Bronx, right around Yankee Stadium, and uh, supply uh, a lot of you know great support for families on just the you know founded here 30 years ago on the simple plan of just uh, all people deserve to have a healthy community and to live in that community, and they do a lot of things for the family. So got to visit with them and, and take in the great game. That one is chopped over the mound, charging his ball. He bare hands. He can't get the ball cleanly, and Kiermaier will reach. Oh, that was Cabrero cut in front of Volpe. Yeah, another thing on a cold night. A little spin on the baseball. Hands are cold. It's a little bit tougher. So that's a cool thing that Toyota is doing. So the families are here tonight, Eli. Families are here. So four families, uh, a lot of moms, dads, uh, some some kids. So got to uh, meet with them, take some pictures, uh, all, all in, a, in a suite. And uh, so it's been it's been fun to talk with them and just see, you know, hear a bit about the great work that uh, Wedco's doing, uh, the things they supply for their for their kids, uh, all the way from from academics to sports and arts and music. And uh, so it's it's obviously they're fired up to be here all local right in this area uh, they're all big Yankee fans so they're excited to be here tonight now we just took a shot of you in the booth and your daughters are in the background I, I think little Charlie's going to get upset right <laughs> he was, you know he was scheduled to come he was scheduled to come we actually had Charlie's uh, first t-ball practice this morning he's five years old so it was chilly at eight o'clock this morning and uh, hit a couple other sporting events and he was worn out so I uh, had to call in call in the righty yeah. Lucy Lucy gladly took his place and, and came tonight instead. Uh, Charlie will owe you one when it gets a little warmer right <laughs> exactly he'll come in August well, he, he's more of a yeah warm weather he likes to sit outside get a hot dog he'll be fired up 2 1 on Springer he doubled in the first inning. All right, so if you had a choice and you could push a button, Charlie becomes a superstar Major League Baseball player or a football player? It, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I, lo I love, you know, play. there we go. Here's a little picture. Look at right you. Now. Ah. High school. Lefty. Lefty. I was say you were lefty. Lefty. Yeah. Batted lefty. And so we, we grew up playing all sports. I played basketball all through high school, played baseball through high school, uh, football, obviously. So, I, I, you know, I'm raising my kids the same way. Uh, Charlie's playing hockey. That's his first sport. He's playing oh, hockey. Really? He's playing t-ball. He's got flag football practice tomorrow. So he's he's playing everything. All our kids are involved in all the sports, and you know, hopefully they find something they're passionate about, they love, and just uh, you know, you just have a great uh, respect for all the sports. You can come watch to watch sports. You come to the games. I've been teaching my girls a bunch of the rules going on. We, I mean, we saw a catcher's interference tonight. We <laughs> we saw a lot of things. I had a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> Isn't that Springer. the good old days, though, where, you know, you, you, depending on what season it was, you played it. You played baseball, you played football, you played basketball. Now they, a lot of these kids make up their mind at 12. They, they don't have the fun that we did. Right. Know? No, I 1,000% I, uh, agree. I think it's about, you know, and, and, and I played all the sports, and you had different friends that played yeah. different sports. I had some that played baseball and basketball, some that played, you know, football and basketball, and some that did track or soccer. And so they played different sports. You got to be with them. You got to. You know, find out different different things, and it's all a different mentality. Like the baseball mentality is so different than the football. Just mm -hmm. pre, uh, we got to go in the locker room today, and and you know, I, I thought about my locker room before, before a game. I never wanted to talk to anybody. I wouldn't take yeah. a picture of it there. You know, you play 162 games. It's a little more loose, and got a picture with Judge and a few of the guys, and uh, it was great to 
go in there. Volpe is a New Jersey guy. Saw mm -hmm. him play high school baseball. So I mean, a lot of these guys have, have you know known around and, and get to get to see with them. So it's yeah, I think you, the more sports you can play, the better. You know, speaking in the locker room, Michael, I don't know if you've seen it. I went in there yesterday. It, it, they made it. I mean, there's neon lights. There's, it's like a diner in there now. It's absolutely uh, the only thing they don't have is a disco ball. I mean, <laughs> it is unbelievable when you go in the Yankee lug out, uh, or, uh, clubhouse now. So Guerrero continues to struggle as he pops up to Cabrera. Now that's the first out of the inning. Infield fly rule was called. You have to explain that to them too, Eli. There we go. I'll have to go. Uh, you know, have to. <laughs> We'll have to go over that. Now, I'll tell you what, Eli. So I covered Paul his whole Yankee career here, and he was the last guy I thought would be a broadcaster. Now we're sitting <laughs> together 23 years. Did you think you'd be a broadcaster? No, no. That's, you know, had no interest in, in being a broadcaster. I thought no chance. And then all of a sudden, my brother calls me and says, I got an idea. Would you want to. This foul. You want to, you know, sit in your sit in your basement, watch football, and make fun of me as we watch a couple of Monday Night Football games. I'm like, yeah, I could, I could do that. So that sounds easy. That, that sounds a lot better. You know, call a game how we would watch it if we were sitting on our couches, and you never know. Snoop Dogg might pop in every once in a while. That's what that's what happens when we watch football. Snoop Dogg just pops in our couch, and uh, so doing it that way. That's a base hit on a broken bat. The runner at second. Kiermaier had to hold up. So Soto gets in and the bases are loaded for the Blue Jays with one man out. Well, the Blue Jays trying to get back into this game and you know Michael I thought you were busy. I mean you've got shows radio shows other talk shows everything. I don't know that the Manning brothers they, they got their step up on they're you. busy everything. <laughs> no we're, we're having fun. Um, you know still trying to get my watch. Paul I saw you with your shirt off the other day in, in, a, in a locker room you're looking pretty strong you're not, <laughs> you're not busy enough to miss a workout so you know what we, we met in a, in a golf tournament down in Florida right and you know we talked about playing golf in New York and and now I got the thing we're playing and Michael's caddy there we go he's got the Argyle sweater the, the knickers he'll caddy for us well can I drive a car or do I have to carry those bags you gotta you're carry carrying both of them right on no. your back no, I'm good I'm good <laughs> so I got 158 to a red pin. What club you handing me? Yeah, I have no clue. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, are you a good golfer, Eli? Uh, I'm, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I get get into it a little bit. I play more in the spring and the summer, but uh, I, I like to, you know, hang out with my brothers, hang out with my good, good pals, and get outside. You know, get my kids into it a little bit. So I, I enjoy uh, I enjoy playing my golf. Bases loaded, one out. Yankees lead six nothing. We're in the top of the third inning. The cleanup hitter Turner at the plate wraps one to left field right there is Verdugo tagging is Kiermaier the throw is cut off so it's a sack fly by Turner first run for the Blue Jays it's six one. I didn't think Verdugo had a chance there but you know Michael I didn't realize uh, he's rated one of the best arm strengths in all of baseball I was anxious to see this throw really no chance but it looked like he kind of overthrew it sometimes you get off balance a little bit and just kind of tug it straight down. Not that I did that yesterday, Michael. Huh? My no. bad. <laughs> did you see his first pitch? I missed it. Oh, it's good. I didn't no. miss much. It's not good. I uh -oh. saw Mattingly behind the plate, and I'm used to throwing it hard. It's the only way I can control the ball. And I saw him. I can't throw one hard. So I just threw one about 15 feet halfway to the plate. <laughs> That's the number one rule, right? If you're throwing out the, Hit the cutoff, man. Yeah. 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 Don't don't go short, right? You can't one hop it. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, don't do it. Look at this. Look at this. That's yeah. like 50 cent. I just wanted to see if Cap could still pick it. You threw a ground ball. <laughs> well, he's a first baseman, right? <laughs> Here's the 0-1 to Vogelback. That's lofted into center field. Coming on is Judge. Hey Eli, great All to right. see you, man. Thanks, guys. Be well. Appreciate it. Eli. Well, thank That's you, a great guys. Eli Manning. Appreciate Blue it. Blue Jays score one at 6-1 Yankees as we go to the bottom of the third inning here on Yes.